Intuitionistic fuzzy sets were presented for the first time by a Bulgarian scientist at a NASA on a conference in 1983 and later in a paper published in 1986. Then they have been studied by many authors all over the world. In particular, Choker introduced intuitionistic fuzzy topological spaces in 1997. The same author, Choker from Turkey, pointed out in 1996 that it's possible and reasonable to investigate crisp version of intuitionistic fuzzy sets, namely intuitionistic sets and points. In 2000, Choker presented topological approach to these structures. Our video is based on the paper by Ejegwa, Ekoe, Utene and Ikula published in 2014. This paper, their paper, is just a survey of the issue in question, a kind of overview of intuitionistic fuzzy sets. Hence our video also deals only with some very basic and fundamental features of these sets. Well, assume that X is a non-empty universe. An intuitionistic fuzzy set IFSA on X is an object of the following form. This is similar to the idea of fuzzy set, but we have two functions. Membership function and non-membership function. They, they do not necessarily sum up to one, although they sum up to the number not bigger than 1, as we can see here, and not less than 0. So, as I said, they, are, they, um, they may be interpreted as a degree of membership and non-membership. Moreover, we have this. 1 minus mu a of x minus nu a of x, and this is called a hesitation margin or degree of indeterminacy. So here we have a kind of uh, similarity to the idea of intuitionistic logic, where, um, where we reject um, law of excluded middle. However, many authors say that um, intuitionistic fuzzy sets, and also intuitionistic sets, that they have more to do with free-valued Lukashevich logic than with uh, typical intuitionistic logic. But these considerations are beyond the scope of our presentation. Well, we may also consider these functions, degree of favor of X and A and degree of being against, delta and eta. Their, defined, um, their definitions are based on these three uh, functions presented above. For example, we may consider an element small x, which belongs to our universe x, and we may consider IFSA, which has the following values of membership and non-membership uh, at x, 0 0.50 and 0 0.30. They sum up to 0 0.80, not to 1. And then we may calculate um, functions pi, delta, and eta. Here we have two more concrete examples of intuitionistic fuzzy sets. Assume that we have a finite universe which consists of three elements a, b, c, and we may define these two sets, a and b. Here we have membership functions, and here we have non-membership functions, their values for a, b, and c. These expressions are not fractions, and this is just a kind of notation, and this should be understood in the following way. Let us say that we consider capital B, IFSB, and an element C. Then mu B of C uh, has value 0 0.20, and nu B of C, non-membership, has value 0 0.30. And this is written here. For C we have 0 0.20, membership and 0 0.30, non-membership. And for example, in the set A, we have, let's say, membership on the level 0 0.50 for small a, and non-membership level for small a, for an element a, 0 
We say that two IFS A and B are similar if um, their membership functions are identical or non-membership functions are identical for any X in our universe. This should be written here. And comparable if their membership functions and non-membership functions are identical for any two X on X. We say that A is contained in B if membership function of A is not bigger than the value of membership function of B for all X in our universe and non-membership function of A of X is greater or equal than non-membership function of B at X. Some basic algebraic operations on IFS have been listed below and they are rather standard and typical. Here we define complement, as we can see um, we replace membership with non-membership and vice versa. Here we have union. We take maximum of uh, memberships and minimum of non-memberships. Intersection, we take minimum of memberships and maximum of non-memberships. Here we have addition, defined in the following manner to ensure that um, our membership is not bigger, membership after addition is not bigger than one, and multiplication. Okay. Um, many well-known Boolean properties are true for these operators. Among them we have, as you can see, complementarity, commutativity of both operators, associativity, distributivity of these operations of union intersection, the Morgan's laws, and finally absorption laws also. Moreover, for addition and multiplication, we have these operations. Well, these properties, these features. So this is the algebra of intuitionistic fuzzy sets. As for the crisp version of IFS, it's defined as below. Assume that we have non-empty universe, as always, and we define intuitionistic set or double set A on X as an ordered per A1, A2, such that A1 and A2 have empty intersection. So each intuitionistic set consists of two parts which have empty intersection, and sometimes we call these parts A true and A false. So indeed, this is a crisp version of uh, discrete crisp, ver crisp version of intuitionistic fuzzy set. And some basic operations have been listed below. For example, a union of two intuitionistic sets. It means that we sum up, uh, we perform, we, we calculate union of their truth sets and um, and an intersection of their false sets and analogously here. Intersection means intersection of truth sets and union of uh, falsity sets. There are also additional issues which will be discussed in the next videos. Topological spaces already mentioned above, model operators on intuitionistic fuzzy sets, normalization of intuitionistic fuzzy sets. For example, these things should be discussed. Here's our bibliography. At an S of Choker. And this overview. Thank you very much for your attention.